Syriza is set, so they say, to lack the proper experience to govern. Yes, I agree. They greatly lack the experience in how to bankrupt a country by cheating and stealing. You don't have this experience. This brings us to the absurdity of the politics of the European establishment. They preach the doxa of paying taxes, uh, opposing Greek clientelism, and they put all their hopes onto the coalition of the two parties which brought to Greece this clientelism. Christine Lagarde recently said that she has more sympathy for the poor inhabitants of Niger than for the Greeks and advised the Greeks to help themselves by paying their taxes, which, as I learned a couple of days ago, she doesn't have to pay. <laughs> as all liberal humanitarians, she likes the impotent poor who behave like victims, evoke our sympathy and bring us to give charity. But the problem with you Greeks is that you suffer, yes, but you are not passive victims. You resist, you fight, you do not want sympathy and charity, you want active solidarity. You want and you demand a mobilization, a support for your fight. Syriza is accused of promoting leftist fictions, but it is the austerity plan imposed by Brussels which is clearly a work of fiction. Everybody knows that this plan is fictitious, that the Greek state cannot ever repay the debt in this way. In a strange gesture of collective make-believe, everyone ignores the obvious nonsense of the financial projection on which these European plans are based. So why does Brussels impose these measures on you? The true aim of these rescue measures is not to save Greece, but of course to save European banks. I want to say something very serious. Your critics hate you because I think secretly they know that you have the courage to be free and to act as free people. When you are in the eyes of the public, those who observe you understand, at least for the flesh of an instant, that you are offering them freedom, that you dare to do what they also dream about. For that instant, they are free. They are one with you. But it is only for a moment. Fear returns and they hate you again because they are afraid of their own freedom. To illustrate the mistake of austerity measures, Paul Krugman often compares them to the medieval practice of bloodletting. A nice metaphor which I think should be radicalized further. The European financial doctors, themselves not sure about how this medicine works, are using you as test rabbits. They are letting your blood, not the blood of their own countries. There is no bloodletting for the great German and French banks. On the contrary, they are getting big transfusions. So is Syriza really a group of dangerous extremists? No. Syriza is here to bring pragmatic common sense, to clear the mess created by others. It is those who impose austerity measures who are dangerous dreamers. The true dreamers are those who think that things can go on indefinitely the way they are, just with some cosmetic changes. You are not dreamers. You are the awakening for a dream which is turning into a nightmare. You are not destroying anything. You are reacting to how the system is gradually destroying itself. We all know 
the classic scene from cartoons, Tom and Jerry and so on. The cat reaches the precipice, but it goes on walking, ignoring the fact that there is no ground under its feet. Then it only starts to fall down when it looks down and notices that there is nothing. This is all you are doing. You are telling to those in power, hey, look down, and then ah, they fall down. This is the difference between Syriza and others. For the others, the situation is catastrophic, but not serious. Things can go on as usual. While for Syriza, the situation is serious, but not catastrophic, since courage, courage and hope should replace fear.